हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते बॉन्जोर आप सबका स्वागत है वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू सो टुडे वी आर हियर इन दिस मंडाला सेशन दिस इज द मंडाला व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ टुडे आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश and my co-host my husband ajay he is not here with me maybe he'll join very soon so before we start let's just discuss with our supplies we need a 6 inch by 6 inch square paper i'm here working on a artist style this is the strathmore artist style they are the pre-cut 6 inch by 6 inch but you can draw a 6 inch square on any paper any printer paper watercolor paper drawing sheet ivory sheet whatever you have we need a black marker pen i'm here using pigma micron 08 sakura brand and you can use any kind of black marker pen the sharpie or stadler or whatever a uh, good black marker pen you have which works smooth we need a compass pencil eraser and a ruler to some draw the guidelines so before we start let me just show you so we are going to draw this mandala today and after we draw done drawing we are going to do the shading for the shading we need some pencil and some blending tool maybe you can use any blending stump any q tip or something after the shading if you want you can add some pencil colors to the corners for the with the shading or if you want you can skip the shading and you can do just the colors that's your choice how you want to decorate your mandala after the drawing So let's start. Can you wait? <laughs> I haven't started and I have been asked for wait. Okay. I I'm not loud. Let me do it a little bit here. Okay. So I'm just showing you one uh this is the one which we did last Saturday. This mandala This is the mandala we are going to do the 1/4 of the mandala then coming Saturday. and this is the next second saturday in the last saturday of the may month so these are the various designs for the saturdays if you want you can make these designs in the colors it's your choice after the drawing everything with the black pen you can do either the color or the shading or the color and shading both mixed you can use color pencil you can use marker pens you can use whatever color supplies you have or what your paper supports you and every friday also we are doing mandalas those are in the hindi session in the hindi instructions the yesterday we did this mandala those are on my hindi youtube channel come Uh, coming last friday yeah, yesterday we did this coming friday we are going to do this mandala and this one and last friday recording is already available at my hindi nidhi prakash arts hindi youtube channel on this uh one this mandala one and every sunday we are going to join we are going to meet together for uh zentangle art class where we used just 3 and a half inch square paper this we did last saturday sunday i'm sorry this we are going to do uh, this coming sunday day after tomorrow tomorrow not day after tomorrow tomorrow and these are the two more for the coming two sundays so these are the zentangle sessions so if you are going to join me in the zentangle session prepare with a 3 and a half inch square area so today we are going to work in a 6 inch square please find out the center of your paper as this is a 6 inch square so i'm starting now guys <laughs> don't be nervous please just enjoy the process and 
this is a beautiful art therapy session feel some good moments say thank you whatever your gratitude about don't worry so as you see it's a six inch square paper so i'm marking at the three inch square at both side and i'm joining it so that's how i divided my paper into four equal sections yes i'm using a mechanical pencil you can use any pencil and the recording is available shikha at my youtube channel all recordings are available uh, on the playlist draw with me now this is the center point i already got it in the crossing and from here now i'm joining the corners Here you go. So I have divided my paper into eight equal sections. Thank you, Divyanj. And after that, please listen carefully as my co-host, my husband Ajay is here, not uh, with me. So you are not going to get any reply. Maybe he'll join us very soon. So I'm focusing on the art. So I'm not going to type in the chat now. I can just read and reply you here uh, if I see any question. So in this one, I divided the paper into eight equal sections and the center point we already found in the beginning. Now we are going to put some markings. So the first marking is at, put it at the zero centimeters, the center point. The first marking is at the one centimeter then 1.5 centimeters then 3 centimeter 3.5 centimeters and 7 centimeters let me write down 1 1.5 1 1.5 3 3.5 and 7 centimeters so I wrote down all the markings thank you Valerie I appreciate it so I wrote down in the chat and Valerie also helped me in the chat and I really appreciate it now I'm grabbing my compass with the pencil and I'm going to draw the circle so we are not going to draw the circle in all the markings guys okay we are going to draw at one centimeter we are going to draw at one and a half centimeter then we are going to draw at three centimeters after that in the last two we are just going to cut it like we just need the markings on the corners we can draw the whole circle the only thing is then we don't really need that line so better not to draw the whole circle and then erase it later so we are just getting the markings at 7 centimeters at three and a half centimeters not the full circle but you can draw the full circle and if you draw the full circle you are going to uh, erase it later once we are done so i'm using here micron pigma sakura pen and guys you know all the materials which i'm using they all are they all have been listed in the video description and 
yesterday i added all the materials at my website page with their amazon link and i put four amazon links in the india amazon india and rest all are the amazon usa links so you can check all the material with their links there also at my website so now we are just going to draw shall i start guys please wait okay i'm waiting for 30 seconds for everybody to catch up till here and let's see who all are done with the guidelines with the pencil send me thumbs up or done in the chat i'm looking at the chat so that i'll know that yes you guys are done i'm waiting guraya as you can see thank you carmela thank you dashna no problem awesome so avni we are not drawing the whole circle in the last two uh, steps like the 3.5 and the 7 that's what i said but if you have drawn the circle in all then it's no problem you can do that awesome awesome now let's start so in the first centimeter circle we are going to trace over all the lines And if you miss anything, you can rewind the uh, this live stream and you can see and then you can come back. Yes. Thank you, Valerie. So Valerie is doing perfect volunteering job. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Alvina. After that, guys, you see in our second round, find out the center of it and draw the triangle. Find out the center of this block and draw one triangle. Find out the center of the block and join these lines. Keep rotating your paper, that's it and after that we are going to draw the outer circle. So if you want you can draw this circle with the compass, you can put your pen in the compass and then you can draw this or you can draw freehand the way I am drawing. We already have the markings. So now before I start working in it, I would like to, you know, clean the uh, pencil lines in between. So that we get good diamondish or the kite shape rather right they are kind of the kite shape <sighs> clean it lightly and then we are going to draw one inner this kite shape in the every block.
Nidhi, the first circle which I erased was the 1 cm and the second was 1.5 cm. Thank you, Avni. So I'm just going to complete this diamond shape inside and then I'll wait for everybody to catch up, okay? So I'm just using the Micron 08 right now. Yes, Guraya, this pen is available in India. I just added the India Amazon link at my website. You can check there. So now I'm waiting for everybody. Thank you, Mahesh. I'm waiting for 30 more seconds for everybody to catch up. Uh, so Shipra recording video is available after the session and in fact right now if you want you can go back and you can uh, watch the session from the beginning and then you can come to the point again maybe fast forward or something so that's available awesome thank you everybody now we are working in this corner and we are going to fill Draw the triangle and fill it. We are kind of done drawing the center part of our mandala. Hey Chaya, no problem. If you want to start it quickly, you can start. You can start the session from the beginning. You can rewind it and then, or if you want, you can just stay and watch us. Yeah, 04 is also uh, good. 04, you can use 04. <laughs> Thank you, artist Anjali. So now I'm waiting for you guys. Yes, Chetna, there are a lot of other videos uh, you can see. I started all these online sessions, you know, last year when all this um, lockdown started and everyone is like uh, stuck at home. So just to help the society, I started these free sessions online and then I'm getting very good response and people are, people are really liking it and it's working as an art therapy. So I'm continuing it. So you can see Draw With Me uh, playlist at my youtube channel so where you'll see all the mandalas zendalas zentangles 
lot of spiral art and all lot of zen doodle sessions which i did all in the last one year valeria i live in north carolina usa okay guys uh i just got one super chat sudarshana uh that's it so it would be great if you guys show me your love with the super chat and the super stickers or you can support me through patreon and if you support me through patreon you can unlock various other my uh mandala's live stream recordings those are the big ones and the colored ones So now guys where we made these our triangle in the center from there we are going to join in the top and we are going to make the petal like this If you want you can draw with the pencil first So what I'm doing I'm just drawing at the one side and that way it's quicker and more uh, you know symmetrical because your hand is just drawing one side every time you need not to change and now i'll go back rotate it again so generally when i make mandala at home i keep rotator in the bottom of it so then it becomes really very easy when we are working on a bigger paper to rotate the paper again back and forth the rotator helps it a lot okay so after this we are going to draw you see we just made marks at a 3 and a half inch point so yamini the paper is 6 inch by 6 inch square or i think valerie gave the size it's 15 cm ish i think now from here base again we are going to draw one more line which is kind of coming all the way to 3 and a half inch point Yes, thank you Valerie. Oh, Yamini, this one is the 3 cm and the one I'm making right now is the 3.5 cm. So we made two petals one over the other one is at the 3 cm one is at the 3.5 cm Hey uh I think my niece is already here Okay guys so now shall i start or shall i wait what do you say show me thumbs up if you guys are done till here i'm waiting for 30 seconds for everyone micron pen tip is 0.5 mm if you see here let me focus it it's 0.5 0.5 mm here it says Hey folks, this is Ajay. Sorry for being late, but I'm here now. So I will be on the chat helping you out. Awesome. He is trying to join me. Okay, awesome. Now guys, we are going to draw one more inner petal inside it. 
like this so again for inner petal what I'm doing I'm drawing at the one side at a time and then I will draw to the other side that is just my way of doing it you can try that style if you like it you can copy that style like to draw the one side and to and then to draw the other side to make the petal or you can make the whole petal at a one time that's also absolutely fine if you want you can draw with the pencil first and then you can trace it with the pen later now in the center one we are going to draw the petal so please look carefully first petal is the big petal round and then two on the corners like this first big petal and then two on the corners So they are a little different than yesterday yesterday when we are making they are going all the way down but right now they are just kind of giving little different look going up so we are going to repeat the same thing in all the petals in all the eight petals after that we are going to fill the leftover spaces or the negative spaces Now, this is Ajay uh, from the AP Music account. Uh, I'm Nidhi's husband, and I'm helping you guys out in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I was missing you, uh, my co host, my husband Ajay. So he just joined me and he helps me, supports me through the chat. He's my co host. Keep filling all these leftover spaces. <laughs> uh, so let me answer that one, please, Carol. So yes, I did use the draw and I was like, I have grade four, grade five. <laughs> yeah, but then these days I just have to be Okay. 
थैंक यू मिशेल आई एम वेटिंग गुरैया आई एम वेटिंग चेरिश आर्ट्स फॉर एवरीबडी टू कैच अप till then i am just going through on all these fillings and wherever i am seeing little bit of the white spots i am just covering them awesome thank you valerie thank you param prasanna thank you nandini now you can use the same pen and with the same pen the 08 we are going to draw some circles inside our these two petals if you want you can change your pen and you can use a thinner tip pen that's also fine draw slow take your time don't go out of the petal okay and all these circles are kind of touching each other they are not overlapping they are just touching each other and staying inside the lines keep your paper in a position so that you can see the uh, see the both lines before you start drawing the circle and you get a good angle to draw the circles so rukmani the same pen with the thinner tip like you see this is a pen micron 08 and like you see this is a pen micron 03 so the 03 is the thinner if you see 01 this is the thinnest tip and if you see this graphic 0 graphic 1 this is the thick tip so they all come in a various tips and we are here using a 08 and the tip size is 0.5 mm so the link of the pen which i have been added in my video description as well as at my website that is a set of a six pens so you will get six pens of different tip sizes uh, so basically you go to our website as www.marshall.com you will find the page you want to read about the keep drawing guys uh okay mahesh i will wait let me just complete these two uh petals with the circles and then i'll wait for everybody to catch up this is really important to you know rotate your paper while drawing in any kind of pattern drawing so that you get good angle and take your time draw slow don't hurry up enjoy the process and focus on each and every stroke focus on each and every circle every line uh, if you give uh, like full time so uh, it will not 
go out and there is less chances to mess up and if still we mess up then don't worry either we fix it or we make it a part of our art hi mudita awesome So like if your speed is a little slower than mine because I see some people are drawing faster than me and they have already filled the uh, negative space so if it is a little slower you can just uh, skip the filling part of these negative spaces and maybe you can uh, just fill them after the session or later on whenever you get time maybe in the session in between so that's how you can catch up with the current you know step Okay guys, now I'm waiting for everybody to catch up and guys, who are, whoever is done till here, please write down one and whoever is drawing with me, please write down one and whoever is just enjoying watching the session and whoever is not drawing, please write down two. Wow, awesome. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone. One and two both. Okay, awesome. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. nice okay now i'm making my camera a little bit up yes you can draw it on the cloth why not you just stretch the cloth very well hold it maybe fit it in any you know that ring or something and then you can first draw it with some chalk pencil kind of thing so that that can wash off easily for all these markings and then use the cloth marker pen to draw absolutely or maybe you can use some acrylic paints or something now if you want you can grab your pencil or i'm just doing one line with the pencil and then we want we can uh, continue the whole uh, all the lines with the pencil and then with the pen yeah before i start i just want to remind you guys if you have not subscribed my channel please leave the chat click on the subscribe button and the notification button so that whenever i go live or upload any video you will get notification from the youtube and in that way you know subscribing is absolutely free for you but in that way you can help me growing the channel as well as uh, will support me to continue these kind of sessions so now please look carefully from okay so before we grab the pen i'm sorry guys we need one more outlining for this Bef after that we will grab the pen So I'm doing outlining 
one side at a time I see some of the smudging on my paper I don't know from where it's coming from my hand I'm just cleaning my finger so it's really important to check like your work should not smudge your hand should not touch to your work Now the other side. Awesome. Now it's time to grab your pencil and where we marked the seven inches you remember in the beginning no we are not erasing that line let it let it be right now and from here with the top we are going to draw one curvy line like this so if you want we can draw all the lines with the pencil first or if we want we can draw directly with the pen it's your choice how you want to go about it I before I start anything I would like to erase these uh, you know uh, smudging if I can get rid of it's bothering me okay so now if you want you can draw all these lines with the pencil and then trace it with the pen or you can draw directly with the pen it's your choice Thank you Raghunath. Now we are going to do the same thing from the other side. There's no harm in drawing with the pencil first and then trace it with the pen until you are confident enough to draw directly with the pen it's your choice now I'm waiting for everyone to catch up till here yes Valerie absolutely this muscle memory is really very important in uh, the mandala drawing so because if you are drawing in one angle like your hand is moving in this way so it's always good like you drew all eight lines in the same direction and then all eight lines in the same direction otherwise every single time you have to draw in the one direction then change the direction so then uh, it would be it might be a little difficult you can do that it's not that you can do that but the easier way is to draw the one side at a time awesome Thank you Divyansh. Thank you Pooja. Now guys you remember that guidelines which we draw first at the 3 centimeters. We are just going to draw over that line. And we are going to fill that area. So now for that we can use the same pen. This is the 08 pen which I am using to draw everything. 
or if I want I can just sh shift to the little thicker tip pen and then I can fill it little quicker that's it they both are the same pen just the tip size is different so that's why we are we didn't erase that marking because we need it to fill these triangle areas So this one 1.5 all in the centimeters dash deshna. All markings in this one is in the centimeters. One centimeter, one point five centimeter, three centimeter, three point five centimeter, and seven centimeters. And if you move to the chat little up, uh, Valerie and Alvin, they both have volunteered to write down the measurements. I'm not sure about the piano music, uh, Valerie, maybe my husband can tell you more about it. Maybe he'll write down. Oh, even he's also not listening, so he can't, <laughs> he can't reply you about it. Maybe in the next session when he's here with me tomorrow in the Centangle session. Okay, so now what we are going to do in these inner petals, we are going to work. And we are just going to draw the inner lines. A lot of people have supported me and subscribed me and pledged me on the Patreon. So on the Patreon, if you see my recorded session, I am working on a bigger paper for the bigger mandala. So I'm using that rotator for that. And that is really helpful. Rotating the big paper. Draw these double lines here in this petal and then hi Uma thank you Shashi <laughs> okay thank you Roshni Thank you everyone. Now we are going to work in these petals. So we are going to draw, you see like we are going to make some 
checks kind of things so please look carefully once i'm working in one petal and then you can start continuing on uh, yours so we are kind of drawing two and three like these three lines so let's first draw these three lines in all the petals so folks that are late, you can still go back in the video uh, and start from the beginning. Just to ask questions. After drawing these three lines, we'll just turn it around and then we are going to draw three lines this style. Yes, you can use 10B pencil, no problem. Just keep your hand very light. Because when we use that dark pencil the problem is that you get that very shiny kind of reflective thing but otherwise you get a good grading value so three three lines from both direction kind of these diamondish shape checks we got in our all petals <laughs> after that we are just going to make these beautiful dots on these nets some blings or some dots Let's do a little bit in the corners also, kind of half dotish, half circleish. We are going to repeat the same thing on every section. On every crossing of these lines. Thank you, Avni. I have already decided the four patterns of the next month. You already know the four patterns of the June month of the May month, right? Uh, I have already decided all four patterns of the June month. So, do you want little tough pattern for the June or the easy patterns for the June, guys? Okay, before you reply that, you can reply me about it. What do you think about this pattern? Is it easy or is it tough? You want tough? Easy, tough, tough. <laughs> okay, this is very uh, mixed uh, one. Lot of people want tough, lot of people wants easy. How about I make the tough pattern, but we try to draw it in a very easy way. And I'm going to give you very easy 
easy and simple steps to draw it but let's try for some difficult pattern in the june month what say big size big size is little difficult vishal i'm trying uh actually then i i'm not able to complete it into one and a half hour or two hours you know a big size takes time so that's why in my past sessions in my experience and a lot of my personal sessions in my patreon uh, i have shown last session also yesterday also all my patreon designs though those all are the big ones so if you see those big designs they take time in drawing like uh, if you see just black and white this design so this is the little, little bigger design but they take time to draw you cannot complete them in one and a half hours like these kind of pattern so that's why for these sessions i try to stay at six six is six inches square and just with the graphite pencil because if you use color so then again it takes a lot of time so that's why okay how is everybody doing is everybody caught up till here <laughs> thank you sonam thank you tracy so big ones you know those lot of big ones are already you know uh, mandala my big mandalas are already there and lot of colorful mandalas are already there in my patreon like this is the watercolor mandala this is again watercolor mandala they are all already uh, recorded their lives recorded session uh, is available at my patreon you can unlock lots of dot mandalas and these mandalas at my patreon and lot of other colorful zen doodle and zen tangle art awesome let's start working on our this final petal so for the final petal we'll first start first make kind of this space you can say it half centimeter ish or anybody else who is joining us late you can still go back scroll the video back to start from the very beginning and still ask us questions in the chat thank you ajay so uh, ajay is saying if you join late you can uh, go back to the session and you can watch from the very beginning and still you can ask questions in the chat while watching the previous part of this live session And now we are going to work in this outer part first and then we are going to work in this inner part. Okay guys, so in this outer part, please look carefully. We are just going to draw a little bit of these petal shapes. So this is the center one which we are going to draw from the center top. And then we are going to draw these petal shapes. all and the same thing we are going to draw to the other side and here we are just going to draw the circle in the leftover area a tiny circle which can fit in well in this leftover space 
that's it so this is our first outer petal and now we are going to repeat it so start from the center top start from first this petal like this u shape and then keep on drawing it's absolutely fine if your all these petals are not of the same width height is obviously we already have the two lines so we are going to stay in that line right but width can vary no problem now to the other side here draw slow don't hurry up take your time start from the center again make the first petal and then draw the petals at each side now this side Mandala is a wonderful mandala drawing is a wonderful tool for the art therapy. So how you guys feel when you draw mandala? or when you color mandala does it work as a meditation for you guys or uh, do you feel a sense of achievement sense of happiness i would love to hear i would love to read your response about mandala drawing your feelings peaceful awesome relaxing just watching okay i'm breathing yeah me too it's meditation achievement feeling peaceful pretty meditative yes nidhi yes then we sense of happiness relaxing absolutely that is the same feeling i feel Awesome. Nice to hear all that. Nice to read all that feelings. And we feel all that because you know we are repeating the same pattern again and again and still we are fully focused. that is the reason that we feel that way because you know uh, we are not drawing any realistic drawing so we have no tension of taking of like the same uh, similarity in the eyes or similarity it should look like that it's a beautiful abstract art no judgment process is more important than the final piece if you enjoy the process final piece will look beautiful automatically so just stay focused on your each and every step on your each and every stroke whatever you are drawing
and don't hurry up that is really important draw slow take your time So we are kind of done with the boundary one. We are just left with this inside petal now. And oops, I left the circles in this one. <laughs> Sometimes when you, you know, keep talking while drawing, so you lose your focus and you miss some steps. That happens with me so many times. Okay, now I'm checking it again and I think I covered all the boundaries. Good, I hope you all are also done with this. Okay, I'm waiting for everybody. I'm waiting for everybody to catch up till here. And then we will start working in these center petals. How do I feel, Guraya? You are asking to me. So I feel like it very, very meditative. Whenever, uh, and you know, sometimes what happens if I'm working for myself, not for any teaching to anyone and just, I'm just working on myself and so much into it, fully focused. And if someone is ask, calling me, my kids or my husband or anyone, like uh, I, I couldn't hear that. And like, because I'm so much into the work, so it really works as a meditation. And when I'm done drawing, it feels like I did the good meditative, you know, good uh, meditation session I did. Yes, Yelena, thank you. We really made a lot of beautiful greeting cards with them on the Mother's Day and all that stuff. Maybe I'll show you some uh, once we are kind of done with that. So before I start working in this petal, let me just do one more uh, embellishments we can say or the decoration inside these beautiful petals which we just made with these tiny spikes and that blinks that's going with the theme in our another set of petals. If you have a little lesser space in between, you can use thinner pen. It's your choice. Thinner tip pen, I mean. Sometimes we make these petals very thin, so we might not have that much space. So at that time you can So again guys while drawing this I just want to remind you again if you have not subscribed my channel please leave the chat and subscribe the channel click on the notification bell and subscription subscribing my channel for you is absolutely free but it will help me growing my channel and in that way you can show your love to me and my work and encourage me to keep continuing these kind of sessions. Do you guys want to see the June designs? The June month designs. And then let's see what you say. Do you find it tough or easy? The June, the June month designs. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you once I'm done with this. So 
So in that way, whoever is still catching up can complete till this level. This is just a straight line in the center of these petals and a little tiny dot on the top. Here you go. And what I was thinking, okay, to show you this one. Oops, two, three, and where is the fourth one? fourth one is not here with me right now but I can show you the three designs guys so this is the one this first design which we are going to do in the month of June okay do you find it easy this is the second design which we are going to do in June and this is the third one fourth one I'm not sure where did it go I'm I must have kept it with some book or something so these are the three designs of the June month on the Saturdays and these are this month's Friday design Friday class designs in the Hindi channel and this is the one which we are doing right now which we did last Saturday and these are the coming to Saturday designs and Sundays we are doing Zentangle art this is what we did on the last Sunday this is what we are going to do tomorrow and these are for the coming to Sundays This is all about the upcoming sessions. I'll try to give you very easy steps so that everybody can do it. Easy, easy, medium, medium. Okay, I'm going to go over all the chat after the session to see your replies, guys. Right now, let's just focus on our next step. So again we need one more double line inside this and then the other side Seems like Ajay wants to say something. I'll show some Patreon design also Ajay and I'll show the greeting card how we can make after that. Before we start the shading, I'll show all of the designs. You want me to show you right now? Awesome. So guys, let me show you quickly the Patreon designs. Like these are all the paid designs which are already there at my Patreon. You can unlock all these sessions at Patreon. They are already there. Here are some of these like the colored sessions and many more. Hey, can you also put your phone on charging, please? 
Oh, yes. Thank you, Ajay, for reminding me. <laughs> so these are all the Patreon sessions and many more guys in the Patreon session. And if you want to see the card, how I make the card, like you see, this is the one. If you have the smaller tile, you can stick like this. If you have the bigger tile, you can uh, make with the bigger tile like this. And I showed some of the Mother's Day card also, which we made. Like this. So these are the Mother Day cards. And you make a tile and then you can convert them into the card. Uh, so, the last call, yes, uh, question number 15. So, once you subscribe, there are recordings of the videos and you can watch them at your leisure. So, the membership runs month to month. Okay. Now, in these one, remember yesterday also we did a lot of spiral uh, pattern in our design. So, the same spiral we are going to draw on the base of this. On all the base of the petals, we draw the spiral and after the spiral, we are going to draw the same way these kind of petals. One petal, two and three, two and three. And that's how we are going to work on these petals and after that we will do some flicking in these ones yesterday we did a lot of stippling a lot of dots in our yesterday session we made in our yesterday session with the same way we made the spiral and the uh, lotus flower with the stipplings and today we are doing uh, our these petal kind of shape that's what we are carrying from here from the base so the same theme so that our whole design looks cohesive and it pattern goes together with each, with each other So first draw the center petal, the big one, and then draw the two two petals at each side. Our next week, next Saturday mandala is not a complete whole mandala. We are drawing the one fourth of the mandala in the next one. So in that one, if you want, you can make it in a very big, like uh, in a, a four times bigger, like three more parts of it at each side and you can make a bigger mandala with that. So it's your choice. So that's how I can do in this session. I'm going to show you what do I mean if it's not clear. We are going to do the one fourth of the mandala. So mandala is basically a circular pattern, right? It starts from the center and it grows everywhere like in the circular way. So when I say one fourth, so if I cut it half and cut it half, so this is the one fourth portion. So if we work in just 
this one and we make three more of it so then we can make it a bigger one So let me complete these three then I'm going to show you what do I mean what we are going to do in the next Saturday and how you can make it in the bigger way. So whoever wants to make a big mandala the next session is very very useful. First we are going to draw the center pattern and then these two patterns each side then we are going to fill the negative spaces leftover spaces oops I forgot to draw the spiral all the way how I do that again and again Okay, so before now we are going to do some flickings so before we do the flicking let me quickly show you uh, what do I mean by the one-fourth of the session okay let me just bring this also to show you here so like you are seeing this big mandala here this is very really very very big but if you see uh, where is the one-fourth part of it which I can show you here. Oops, it was here. Just give me a second. Okay, so if you see this pattern here, this is the one fourth pattern, and this is the full big version of it. That's what I mean. So tomorrow, I do not tomorrow mean the next. Saturday our session will be one fourth version like this and you can make three more of it or you can make in a bigger paper and like you can see it's going to join and it's going to give you a big complete mandala so that's what I mean we are going to do the one fourth version of the mandala in the next class In the next coming Saturday now we can use the same pen or maybe you can use little thinner tip pen to do some flickings first I'm doing the flicking in these inner petals flickings in these little bit of these hatching and over these flower petals to 
we are going to make these lines a little bit more so wherever you see little white spots is left you can just go over with that So tomorrow the session experience will be a little different than this because tomorrow is the Zentangle day. We are going to make a tile. The size of the tile would be 3.5 inches and we are going to learn few tangles. First we will learn the tangles and then we will make the tiles. So for the tangles I would suggest you to make your any you know journal or any uh, separate book to the collection of all the tangles you can draw in that or maybe you can draw on the whole sheet separately it's your choice that's it we are done with all the drawing and now it's the most important time that's the shading before I start shading I just want to draw two more tiny dots that's that are getting smaller and smaller in the very center of these kite shape that's it if you have white jelly roll pen you can use that if you don't have then it's absolutely fine and with the white jelly roll pen you can just draw one white line in the circle as well as the tiny white dot these all are the you know decorations or the embellishments like which we are going to do like the shading now it's the time to grab your pencil and let's start shading so for the shading first I'm just going to lay down a circle in the center which we are going to shade after it and then we are going to lay down graphite here around the petals uh, so some people want to wait and there's a question if there is a substitute to the white jelly roll pen okay so thank you Ajay uh, I'm giving my full focus in the drawing and I'm not looking at the chat so he's helping me out so substitute for the white jelly roll pen is the white correction ink pen that is the thin tip maybe the white acrylic paint just thin it down and use very very thin brush and then you can use it or maybe the dotting tool the nail art tool these kind of tool this will work with the acrylic paint or the poster paint and what is the next question yeah that's it and after that we are going to do the shading like this and we are going to repeat the same thing in all the petals and 
and then we are going to do shading in some more places lightly that's it and before shading uh, how about let me first do the clear cleaning up these extra lines on the corners and if we see any extra line here in the pattern we can go ahead and we can clean that too although most of the lines are going to you know hide in our shading but still I don't want to use the ruler once uh, the eraser once we are done shading so that you know it might go over the shading so then that's why it's nice to clean this area before we start shading And if uh, in so the, we have a question, what is the good pencil for shading and uh, for questions on where to post your work, yes. uh, you can, uh, maybe it's going to create a post on Facebook after the session is done and you can just comment on that post with your, uh, with your artwork. Yes, thank you Ajay. So after the session, I'm going to take a picture of this particular piece which I'm working on right now and I'm going to make a post at the Facebook, at my Facebook page so you can post all your pictures there and i really want to give shout out to everyone who posted yesterday and the last week more than 100 100 submissions i got in my various different platforms i would prefer everybody to post me on the facebook page and whoever is at the discord at the discord otherwise like you guys are posting me at the facebook messenger personally at my whatsapp message whatsapp personally and different other mediums i appreciate everywhere so you can if you are posting at instagram and any other place any other social media that's awesome don't forget to tag me so that i can see that work what you did with me you can post at your pinterest at your uh, instagram any other social media I'm trying to be you know active on Instagram and in Pinterest I'm trying to post all my these works on those two places also and but mainly is the Facebook and at the discord and whatsapp group is only for the notifications so if you want to get notifications about my sessions personally by uh, me your connection is lost on the phone oh I'm sorry I keep on working and I didn't see that why this connection uh, in the meantime what pencil to use for shading will the hp pencil do yes any pencil will work guys you can use any kind of pencil uh, any school pencil graphite any uh, b grade pencil like the 2b 4b 6b 8b you can go up to 10b you can use ebony pencil if you want the darker value uh, you can use any this kind of mechanical pencil whichever pencil works for you best for uh, shading because you know different pencil will give you different values if you want the darker color you can use darker pencil if you want lighter color you can use little lighter pencil or you can change your pencil pressure also while laying down graphite you can put more pressure if you want a little darker color you can put little less pressure if you want a little lighter value for the blending you can use tortillon you can use blending stump you can use earbud you can use tissue paper it's your choice how you want to uh, whatever material you have you can use that any other questions Ajay
because generally in my all sessions I just sits here kind of in the same room but at the different computer but today he's not here with me he's joining me through the mobile he uh, so that's why he's talking over the phone and replying you guys but still he's helping me out So this is our one step of the shading is done. Uh, and guys, if you go to our website www.nidhiprakashas.com, uh, you will be able to see a page that has all the upcoming schedule or uh, session schedules. Uh, you have your monthly calendar. You also have a page that has the links to all of the items that Nidhi uses in the app. Yes. And we lay down graphite in the center, guys, if you remember. So we are just spreading it out like this. That's it. I missed one. I missed what one? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so for people who's asking who is AP Music, uh, I am Nadi's husband. Uh, and AP Music is actually a Western channel. He plays piano music on a YouTube channel called AP Music. So my son and his name is Aditya and he plays piano. He's in high school. So this is his YouTube channel, AP Music. And my husband supports him in his channel. So uh, he's replying through that account, AP Music. This is your co-host guys at AP Music. I'm just laying down a little bit more graphite here in the center one. And now you see my graphite is already dirty and I'm using the same graphite filled tortillon in my flowers. If we want we can use pencil no problem. But my graphite is already carrying my tortillon is already carrying so much graphite i don't really need to lay down more with the pencil i wanted a soft blending so that's why i'm using this method I'm kind of done till here. Oops, I keep on, you know, moving my tiles. Please zoom in a bit. Okay. Is it okay now? And now, guys, you see these are our little tiny circles. So just in the top one, I'm just touching my this graphite filled. in one corner just not to leave it all the way white that's it that's it guys we are kind of done with this mandala we can go over the shading we can check if we find anywhere some white lines in the edges maybe we can set up some more values little bit more darker at some point darker and lighter if we want we can use little white graphite pencil in the center to bring it more up so those are the little you know more uh, designing or more decoration we can do but for the session perspective we are kind of done and now it's the time to write your name or the signature or your initials whatever you want you can write down your whole name and the date or maybe you can just write down your initials so I'm just writing down my initial Nidhi Prakash and P and I'm just trying to make it little interesting. That's it. That's how you can make your initials interesting and you can give some character to it. Try a lot of different style on your rough paper and then decide how to write down your initials in an interesting way. And that's it. If you want, let's write down today's date. What is today's date? Today is, oops, 
what is today's date ajay 15th yes 15th may 21 so that's it guys and now is the last step of the session that is to praise thank you dilishka and i'm sorry guys if i pronounce your name wrong because you know i have uh, the audience from all over the world and uh, i have my lip- limited knowledge of calling all the names in the different uh, places so please pardon me for that and now the last step is to praise your artwork hold it in your hand say some good words for your artwork and uh, i'm patting you know my shoulder good job nidhi prakash you did awesome you guys can pat your shoulder loud your name aloud and uh, say some good words to yourself and to your artwork and the, don't forget to share your artwork with me guys i would love to see what you guys did and if you want you can add colors to it if you want you can expand it more you can add more layers to it you can add more circles and add more petals to it and make it bigger it's absolutely your choice so see you guys tomorrow in a zentangle session and coming week friday saturday sunday every friday hindi mandala session every saturday in these kind of mandala zentangle sessions and every sunday zentangle sessions Bye